hey, it's John Dreyer. You know, I get to play some really incredible guitars when we make these videos. And well, this series is certainly no exception. I'm talking about the Player Lead 2 and Lead 3 guitars, just out of this world, fun to play. So the original Lead series was introduced in 1979 and appealed to a wide variety of players. And I think the appeal with the series is that they are just simply a delight to play. Uh, it has a smaller body, kind of a smaller strap body. Uh, it's super comfortable to hold and play. Great sounding pickup, solid design, clean layout on the controls. We have a volume and tone and a couple of switches and then your fixed bridge here. The Lead Series is a great starting point for new players as well as experienced players who are just looking to add something new and exciting to the collection. And as we go through the features, you'll see that there are some modifications to the original design, but trust me, it's all for the best. Tone-wise, what you heard up top was the guitar, the Lead 2, plugged into a few pedals that I have here on the floor, uh, Distortion, Delay, and Reverb, and then we're going into a Hot Rod Deluxe Amplifier set clean. So let's run down the features of the Lead 2, which is the two single coil model, and then we'll hear some more tones, and then later on I'll switch over to the Lead 3. All right, let's start with the body. The body wood is alder, and it's available in three different colors. This is neon green, my favorite, and it's also available in black and vintage correct crimson red transparent. So on the pickups for the Lead 2, we have two slanted Player Series single coil pickups. Now these are Alnico 5. They sound amazing and they're super loud. Here they are clean. I'll just cycle through uh, the three different positions. Control-wise, we have a master volume, master tone. There's your three-way toggle for the two pickups. And then this switch here is a two-position phase switch, so you can go in and out of phase when you're in the middle position. So let's hear what that sounds like. And then on the bridge, we have a six saddle string through body hardtail bridge with block saddles, which just adds to the big full sound of the guitar. And then if I flip this over, you can see that on the back where the strings feed through. And then over to the neck, we have either a maple or palfero fretboard, depending on which color you choose. We have a satin finish on the back of the neck, which is really nice so your hands won't stick. And then a nine and a half inch fingerboard radius with 22 medium jumbo frets, and then the F logo machine heads up at the headstock. All right, there's a quick rundown of some of the key features. Now, a lot of those features, actually most of those features, uh, are shared across the Lead 2 and Lead 3. Now, we'll switch over to the Lead 3 in a second, and we'll talk about some of the additional features, but before we do that, I wanna kick on the Pugilist distortion pedal and then have some fun uh, with the distorted tone with the Lead 2. Let's check that out. As you can see, I've switched over to the lead three with the double humbucker. And why, yes, this is purple. In fact, this is metallic purple. Uh, it's also available in Sienna Sunburst as well as Olympic White. And tone wise, well, let me kick on this overdrive, have some fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so the specs on the Lee 3, uh, all the same great features as the Lee 2, except for a couple of differences. Now, on the pickups, instead of two single coils, we have two humbuckers. These are Player Series humbuckers, Alnico 2 magnets, uh, really nice, warm, creamy tone, uh, different than the brighter attack of the single coils. And then we have a different function on the second switch. So instead of the in and out of phase when we're in the middle position of the pickup selector, uh, this switch will uh, split the humbuckers. So in position one of the selector, we can go to the down position and that will split the coil of the humbucker in the bridge. Uh, the middle position uh, is, is off, that's normal, full on uh, humbucker tones. When we're in the neck position, this pickup selected only, we can go to the up position of this switch and then that will split the neck humbucker. So full on humbucker tones as well as single coil tones, all in one guitar, pretty cool. All right, let's hear what the guitar sounds like in all three positions, bridge, bridge and neck, and then neck, and then we'll hear what it sounds like when I split the coils and we'll run through all those three sounds uh, one more time. Here's the middle position, bridge humbucker and neck humbucker. And then the neck humbucker. Okay, and then while we're on the neck pickup, if I go to the split position here, so we go from to All right, so if we go to the middle position on the pickup selector, now we have both pickups on. And remember, because I have the neck humbucker split, uh, it's a slightly different tone, so we'll hear that. And if I go back into the full humbucker mode, all right, so now we go back to the bridge position. That's full humbucker. And we go down position on the split. So lots of different tonal options for you there uh, with these two switches, and it sounds great. All right, so a couple of things before we wrap up. One, uh, these guitars, as I mentioned up top, are just way too much fun to play. So you really need to go find one uh, at a local dealer, check them out, try both models, see which works best for you. And then two, these instruments can work in a lot of different scenarios. So a great first guitar for the beginner, uh, for the experienced player, it's just a fun uh, guitar, something different to add to your collection. Lead tones, uh, rhythm tones for recording on stage, just to have fun at home, jamming with your friends. There's a lot going on with these guitars, both look-wise and tone-wise, so please go check them out. For more information on the Player Lead Series, head on over to Fender.com to read all about it. And then stay tuned here for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you.